Ectus Chart 1, which is included in this Ectus. 1. Open the Chart menu. 2. Select Ectus Chart 1 from the menu and then push the scroll wheel. And then 3. Select the desired chart symbols from the submenu to show on the Ectus. The return dialog window appears when you select something from the submenu of Ectus Chart 1. When you close the return dialog window, by clicking the close button at the upper right corner, Ectus Chart 1 will be closed and normal chart presentation is displayed. Ectus in route monitoring mode and route planning mode. A route, a user chart or notes can be selected from the information area in either the planning mode or the monitoring mode. To select desired mode, put the cursor on the text route, user chart or notes in the information area and click. A drop down dialog box appears where you can select either monitor or plan by clicking the appropriate button with the left mouse button. Chart Scales When you open a chart, it is displayed with the default scale, called the compilation scale. The details for the chart are displayed in the electronic chart area and these can be modified. Use Range Minus and Range Plus to select desired chart scale. You can use the Zoom In and Zoom Out functions as required. You can also change the chart scale directly on the screen. This can be done by using the scroll wheel with the cursor or arrow placed at scale shown on the upper status bar. Chart Display Settings There are three sets of predefined chart display settings that can be used to display charts with certain chart features. The predefined chart display settings are IMO Base, IMO Standard and IMO All Other. You can find the display setting in use on the upper status bar. The steps necessary to select desired IMO chart display settings are 1. Open the chart display window. Put the cursor on the black triangle on the chart display window and then press the left mouse button. 2. Next, select Set IMO Base. Set IMO Standard. or set IMO All Other from the menu as required. Do remember that base display is the minimum set of information which cannot be removed. It is not designed for navigation but only to give an overview of the area. Standard display includes the minimum information believed to be needed for safe navigation. Additional information can be displayed by adding layers to this and a user can customize the chart. Alternatively, all other info can be selected and then layers removed to customize the chart. Safety Depth and Safety Contour To select Safety Depth and Safety Contour, follow these steps. 1. Open the chart display and 2. Enter desired values in the safety depth and safety contour field. Spot soundings below the safety depth are highlighted. The system uses the safety contour for chart alerts also. If the chart does not contain selected safety contour, the system will automatically select the next deeper contour. You can set values for shallow contour and deep contour as well. The shallow contour is for possible visual color change inside the unsafe water area. The unsafe water areas are all shallower than the safety contours. 
set a value for the shallow contour less than the value of the safety contour. Color Contour Modes Color Contour Modes Selection of multi and two color presentation can be done by selecting the list box of depths on the chart page. In the multi-color presentation, the chart display uses four different colors for contours. Deeper than user selected deep contour, white. Between deep contour and user selected safety contour, gray. Between safety contour and user selected shallow contour, light blue and between shallow contour and coastline, dark blue. In the two color presentation, unsafe water is shown in blue and safe water is shown in white. The chart display uses only two colors, deeper than safety contour and shallower than safety contour. If the input safety contour does not exist in the electronic chart, the system automatically selects the next deeper available depth contour as the safety contour. Chart alerts. There are areas that the ECDIS detects and provides the audio alarm and or visual indication if the ship's estimated position or planned or monitored route crosses this area. Select the initial settings from the main menu. Thereafter, select the chart alerts parameter and click on alerts tab. You can select from these areas. Safety contour. Areas to be avoided. User chart danger area. Traffic separation zone. Inshore traffic zone. Restricted area, caution area, offshore production area, military practice area, seaplane landing area, submarine transit lane, anchorage area, marine farm or a PSSA area. You can select the desired alert type and click the indication button or alert warning button as required. The item selected is moved from the ignore box as appropriate. Click the check area tab to enter the watch sector values from your ship's position. Sector size is defined by time and width or by distance and width. The user can choose to highlight chart alert areas. The step-by-step -step procedure is to first 1. Open the chart display. 2. Click the right or left arrow tab to select the chart page. And then 3. Select On in the chart alert highlight box. ECDIS alarms. The ECDIS can detect areas where the depth is less than the safety contour or detect an area where a specified condition exists. In these cases, the system will display a visual alert or sound an audio alarm to alert you to impending danger. Please note that the ECDIS calculates dangerous areas using the largest scale chart available, which may not be the visualized chart. The ECDIS can check the predicted movement area of your ship and the planned route with an easy to use locator function to find dangerous areas. The ECDIS will highlight the dangerous areas inside your planned route, monitored route and predicted movement area of your ship. The alarms can be acknowledged by using the keys on the control unit. If any of the alerts are acknowledged and in a pending state, same category will not cause a new alert. You can also define your own safe area in user charts for enabling chart alerts which is specifically useful when using raster charts. 
Position Fix Systems. The operator can select navigation sensors for use in navigation and view their current values. On the POSN page of the sensors dialog box, the data field of a position sensor contains a label that indicates the type of a sensor. Position sensors have priority indicated by primary and secondary. Only one sensor can be primary while the others can be secondary or off position. Select the most accurate and reliable sensor as primary navigation sensor. Set all other navigation sensors as secondary. Event Mark Event markers indicate events recorded into the voyage record. The event's functions are accessed with the mouse. Spin the scroll wheel to display Event Info MOB in the mouse functions area and then press the left button. This records an event to the logbook. The event dialog box appears where you can write a comment up to 48 alphanumeric characters for an event. The comment has to be saved and will then be displayed in the electronic chart area and in the logbook if events is selected for display in the tracking page of the chart display dialog box. Man overboard event has label MOB. You can also click on the event in the control unit if available. Troubleshooting. Please refer to the equipment manual for the troubleshooting tables which provide common faults and the remedy with which to restore normal operation. If you cannot restore normal operation, do not check inside the equipment. There is no operator serviceable parts inside. Please follow the ship-specific contingency procedures in case of Ectis hardware failure. Chapter 2. Charts. Chart Directory. The chart menu provides various features for processing charts and managing chart database which can be accessed using menu option. For instance, clicking on the Activate S57 chart in the chart menu activates an S57 chart onto the display. The Activate ARCS chart function activates the Admiralty Raster Chart Service or ARCS chart onto the screen. An S57 catalog is used to view graphic coverage of the charts stored in your hard disk or a CD-ROM. Available charts are displayed using their limits of charts. Open the chart catalog and pick a location with a cursor To view information contained on a chart. The chart limit boxes are color coded as shown in the video. The chart catalog command in the chart menu helps you manage ARCS charts. When loading updates, the information contained in weekly update CD-ROMs is loaded into the Ectus which is used to display limits of charts on the ARCS catalog in different colors. You can select a chart by clicking the limit of the chart in the ARCS catalog dialog box. Chart Catalog when you load S57 charts by CD-ROM, the system first loads a CD-ROM catalog which stores certain information into your hard disk such as the position and addition number of cell ID. The catalog is used to view graphical coverage of the charts. To view the catalog, click Chart Catalog command in Chart menu. You can click on the source of Chart Catalog. CD display charts available in a named CD-ROM. 
RENC display charts available from RENC or Regional ENC Coordination Center. SENC display charts stored in your hard disk in SENC or System Electronic Navigation Charts format. CMAP display charts available from CMAP if installed. You can also further filter to display charts for which you have permit or display charts for selected navigation purpose. Selected Charts tab shows the cell and cell status. Charts can be ordered by cell, zone or area. Permits for ENCs Every ECDIS is provided with ENC permit and security key. This provides the access code for the system software to allow charts and permits to be acquired. Permits are used to control the permission to use a chart. Each permit also includes an expiry date. The expiry date of a permit controls the loading of base charts and their updates to the ECDIS. The ECTUS will warn you when you are loading charts or updates that are issued less than 30 days before the expiration date of a permit. The step-by-step -step procedure to load a permit is to Select Chart Permits from the Chart menu. Click the Public Key button. Insert the floppy disk, CD-ROM or a memory stick that contains the public key and then click the Load New button to load a new public key and select the desired format from the contents window and then click the Load button. You must load a permit when you load a chart. License Keys for ARCS Permits for Admiralty Raster Chart Service or ARCS charts are usually delivered in a disk. You must load a permit when you load a chart. The step-by-step -step procedure for loading the ARCS Navigator license permits is to Open the chart menu and then select Chart Permits from the menu and select Navigator license as the type of license. Insert the disk in the drive and click the Load File button. Depending upon your subscription, you may instead need to load ARCS Skipper Chart Permits into the system. Uploading Vector Charts When you load S57 charts by CD-ROM, the system first loads a CD-ROM catalog. Then, the system asks which charts you want to load from the selected media. The step-by-step -step procedure for loading S57 charts is 1. Insert CD-ROM or floppy disk in respective drive. 2. Select Load and Update Charts from the menu and when the sub-menu opens, select From CD-ROM command. 3. Click the Load button to load from a CD-ROM. 4. In the Load or Update Charts from loaded CD-ROM window, select the charts to load into the ECTIS. Be sure to check Permit. 5. Click the Load button to load charts into the ECDIS. 6. Before ECDIS starts loading charts, you are asked to confirm this operation. 7. Charts are loaded into ECDIS and then automatically converted to SENC format. The system gives an indication when the conversion is completed. The CD-ROM can be removed and other CDs can be inserted. 8. After you have loaded all charts, insert the update CD. Please use same procedure for other base CDs and update CD as shown. You can also update charts by this process. 
uploading raster charts. Auto load. Now we will explain the loading procedure of ARCS chart into the system for which you have a permit. You can load all the charts that are covered in your license and the system will load them automatically. The step-by-step -step procedure for loading ARCS charts automatically is select load charts from the chart menu and buy permits from the sub-menu and insert desired CD-ROM into the CD-ROM drive and then click the load button. The progress indicator shows the number of charts loaded and the number of charts to be loaded. Please use same procedure for other CD-ROMs as well. You can also define a group of charts to be loaded into the system. Uploading raster charts manually. You can also load the ARCS charts manually in the system. The step-by-step -step procedure for loading ARCS charts manually is Insert desired ARCS CD-ROM into the drive. Select Load Charts from the Chart menu. And Manual from the sub-menu. Select desired charts from the list box of the Chart Operations window. And then Click the Load Chart button to load a chart into the system. Selecting charts for display by number. To select a chart by its name, open Chart Menu. In case of ARCS chart, select Desired Chart from Chart List dialog and then click the Open Chart button. In case of S57 chart, Select Open Chart by Cell Name from the menu and then select the desired chart from the chart list before clicking the Open Chart button. The selected chart is automatically displayed in the electronic chart area. Selecting charts for display by area. To select a chart by area, select Set Chart Center from the main menu to display the dialog box and enter the latitude and longitude position for chart center. Afterwards, click the set center button. You can also select the chart for viewing from chart catalog using chart menu. Use the cursor to select desired chart from chart catalog dialog box and click the Open button. The selected chart is automatically displayed in the electronic chart area. Status of loaded charts and their updates. You can also check the status of loaded charts and their updates. When you load S57 chart cells or their updates, the system sets display until of S57 chart cells as current date of the system. You can also view status and set viewing dates of S57 chart cells and their updates. To do so, select Set Chart Viewing Dates from the chart menu. Updating Vector Charts Updating is usually carried out using base CDs and update CDs. The base CD contains all the updated chart information.